all right so now guys in this one we are going to write the functionality that will help us update our task right but to update our task there are two processes that need to be carried out so first off if you, let's say you want to update this task one if you click on this button what you want to do is you want to get the information about this task and slot it inside of this impute form that's the first process that needs to happen then the second process is after you've maybe updated or modified it you now click on this button then you will now update the task in the database so the first process is that you want to be able to get that single task put it inside the form field and the second process you want to update it when you click on the button so let's do the first one which is to get that single task so i'm going to come here and add a function it's going to be an asynchronous arrow function and i'll call that function get single task single task and let's give it it's going to have um, a parameter so to get the single task we're going to give it a task parameter then inside of this task parameter we're now going to so i'm assuming that this task here is the information about this ta single task okay so now inside we're now going to set the form data to match what is in this task all right so here i'll say set form data let's open that up and you know it's an object that contains a name and a completed property so i'm going to set the name to um so name that's the first one and i'm going to set it to task dot name all right so that's for the name i'll add a comma and then i'll add a comma and then i'll set the completed and that's going to be task dot com oh sorry the completed we're going to set to false we're not setting it to what it was before because it is seen that when you edit a task we want to automatically set the completed state to false if you now decide that, okay you've completed that task you can always come here and click on this button and it will set it to true so technically this is what we want all right so um let's actually let me see okay i think at this point we can go ahead and test just this single functionality we'll definitely expand it as as we proceed but let's just do it step by step so i'm going to send this get single task as a prop to my task component because that's where this button is this edit button so i'm going to come down let's scroll down to the task component which is here and i'll send that as a prop and that's name of the prop is get single task which is going to be same as get single task I'll save that and then I'll go to my task.js and catch the prop. So you see, we've been passing a lot of prop to our task.js because it has a lot of, you know, functionalities. So I'm going to put the get single task here in our task.js. And where do we want it? We want it on this edit button. So here I'm going to now say on click. Okay. And then we're going to use our arrow function like this. And here we want to call the get single task and we want to pass to it the task which is a prop also that we got when we we cut here in this component so technically you see what's going on here so let me save this and let's test it out so what do we expect when we click on this button well let's come to our task list when we click on this button we expect that let me go to the function yeah so when we click on this button we expect that the information about the task like the task name will be set inside of this form okay that's what we did here when we said set form data so i'll come here and try the first one voila so you see it does work so i've been able to set this task for updated inside of this form but i think it's time for me to actually go to the finished project and show you the behavior so but when you click on the edit button watch what happens it comes it pushes the content inside here and it changes the text on this button to edit so initially it was add so if i let me just click on it again oh i think i need to edit it edit oh okay i think so something seems wrong here oh okay it was just not responding it was just not responding all right so you see here that ordinarily it was the form button is set to add but when i click on this guy here and it changes to edit so if i maybe do something here like maybe add a dot 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 
and then I click on edit then you see here that it changes back to add so that's some form of logic that we are adding to um, our application all right so there are two extra pieces of states that I'm going to add to this application to make all of this possible so what am I going to do here I'm going to come here like so at the top of my application where I have all my states and I'm going to add two extra pieces of states the first one let me just say use state snippet so the first one is going to be my is editing state so I'll say is editing okay that's the first piece of state set is editing and initially I'm going to set it to false so that needs to be small letter then the next piece of state I'm going to create will be my task ID so let me just come here and then I'll just delete this and say task ID all right so that's it now I'll make this small letter task ID and initially I'm going to set it to an empty string so these are the two extra pieces of state that I need for all of the editing functionality to work all right great so now let's come down to our application so when we get a single task there's one thing I want to do or two things I want to do rather the first thing I want to do is that I want to set the task ID to the task.id so this particular task that we are about to start editing I'll just slot the ID in here so here I'll just say task dot underscore ID then also I want to set is editing to true all right great so now there are other things I want to pass as prop to this task because there are some things that needs to change when its editing is true for example this button it needs to change when its editing is true so I'm going to pass it to the form so let's come here where's our form um, okay yeah so this is our task form I'll come here and pass is editing prop so I'll say is editing I'll set that to be equal to is editing all right so now I can now catch this prop in my task form because I'll come to the task form here and then I'll just catch that prop. So I'll add a comma here and then I'll say is editing. Like so. So there are some things that I are going to change in, in the task form. For example, when is editing is equal to true, I want the text here to change. All right. So I'll come here and this button technique uh, initially it's set to add but instead of just setting it to add I'm going to make it dynamic so I'll say that if is editing is equal to true then I want the text on this button to say edit else I want it to say add so you see what we did here we just made this button the text on this button dynamic I'll go ahead and save and let me click on the button so let's just cancel out of this and let me click on oh what's going on here did I delete all my task okay so let me just try to add a task so task one task one and let me just add that okay so something is definitely wrong here let me take a look at it Oh, apparently I just needed to refresh the page all right so now I would click on this edit button and when I click on this edit button I expect this um, to be changed to true sorry I expect it's editing to become true and this will change this button text will change to edit so let's try it aha so you see it works this is changed to edit the next thing we want to do in our task form is that when is editing is equal to true we want this form to fire another function entirely not the create task function so but first let's actually you know create that function so I'll come into the task list and I would after this get single task I'll create another function which I'll call update task so let's just do an asynchronous arrow function 
and I'll just call that update task. All right. I'll need to pass this function as a prop to my task form because that's where I want to use it. So I'll come here, update task and update task. Then I will catch the update task function in my task form. So let's come here at the top and add a comma and then we'll add the update task. All right, great. Now we want to say that on submit, we want to make this on submit dynamic. We don't just want to make it static. In other words, let's let me show you how we're going to do that. So I'll delete this guy. I'll say that if is editing is equal to true, then I want to fire the function to update task. So let me just paste that in. Else, I want to fire the function to create the task. So you see what's going on here? We've made this on submit function dynamic. We say that look, if it's editing is true, then update the task because we know we're trying to edit a task. So run the function to update the task. Else, create a new task. That's what we just did here. All right. So let's save that and let's come back to our task list. So now, if you look at what we've done so far, we've been able to get a single task and we've been able to assign the task ID to our task ID state. Then when we get that single task, when we click on this edit button to get a single task, we set this editing to true, which sets off a chain reaction in our form. Okay. So that's basically what we've been able to do so far. Now in the next video, I'm now going to write the function that will edit the task. Because remember, we have the access to the task ID, which we saved to this, our task ID state. So we're going to use that to uh, update the task in the next video. See you there. All right, so now let's add the function to update the task. The first process we did was to actually get the single task that we you know, want to update and put it inside the form. And that was successful. Now the function to update the task, I'll come here and pass this an E parameter. So the first things first, we're going to do E dot prevent default like we did before when we wanted to create a new task. And then I'm going to add um, an if statement. So I'll say if because I still don't want the uh, form to submit if it's empty. So I'll say if the name is equal to an empty string. Then I just want to throw a toast notification. So I'll return and say uh, toast dot error. And I'll just say input field cannot be empty, just like I did before. So I'll say input field cannot be empty. Okay. So if this is not, you know, triggered, then what do I want to do? I want to now run a try catch block. So try catch block. And in this try catch block, I want to use uh I want to await axios dot put. Okay, so remember the API we created was axios dot put. So we want to update it using axios dot put. Now this is going to take a URL. The URL wants to update, and then it's going to take uh the data you want to update with which is the form data really so because we already have the url in several places let me just get the one to delete the task so this very one i'll just copy this one like this and then i'll just paste that in here like so so axios dot where is it yeah axios dot put so i'll paste that in here but this time it's not we're not working with the id we are working with the task id Right. Remember, we created a variable when we when we call this get single task function, we set this uh, state task ID state. We set it to the task underscore ID that we put inside of this form. So is this task ID that we're going to now use when we update? So here I'm just going to pass the uh, task ID. All right. So next I'll add a comma here and then I'll just update it with the form data form data simple so that's what you need to update it however when you finish updating it you want to clear the form just like you did before so i can actually just copy and paste the you know what we did before but let's just type it out so 
to clear the form we gotta set form data set form data and you know it's an object so let's open our object and then i will just say dot 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 whatever the form data is form data i'll add a comma and then i'll set the name to an empty string okay so that's it for clearing our form data after we've cleared our form data there are some house cleaning we need to do one of them is we need to set is editing back to false because now we are no more editing so here i'll say set is editing to false all right then another housekeeping we need to do is we need to refresh the tasks on the page so i'll come here and call the get tasks function and call it and i think that's about it if there's an error however we just want to do toast dot error and then i'll just have my error message so i'll just say error dot message okay so this is the function we need to fire to update our task now let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works so i'll save and i think i i'm going to refresh this page just to make sure we're starting on a clean slate all right so i'll refresh the page myself aha so let's say i want to update this task four or which is the first one i'll click on this guy get the single task slot it into the form and then i'll just change this to task one and then i'll click on edit aha so it works perfectly first off it updated the task cleared the form field which is what we said here so we cleared the form field we set its editing to false that's why this thing became add then we refresh the task on the page by calling the get task function now i know that this may seem like a little bit you know complex and cumbersome but i just hope you appreciate the logic with which we are working to you know do things in the project that's what programming really is so in the next one uh, we are going to add the functionality to set a task to completed all right so thank you so much i'll see you in the next one